Hello and welcome to our reviews. Today we're reviewing the Bowen Designs Morbius Minibus. So yeah, here we have Morbius, the living vampire. Pretty cool Spider-Man enemy and character. So uh, yeah, pretty standard for a uh, Bowen Minibus. Standard sort of size, really good detail. Got this really nice shiny blue paint, which I'll probably rant about in a minute. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and zoom in for the details and the paintwork and the sculpt and all those sorts of things. Sorry off the quick size comparison, here is Morbius next to a fairly standard Bowen size mini bust, which is Thanos. And here's a 6 inch Marvel Legends size figure. So Morbius is uh, over 7 inches tall ish because of his uh, big arms. So, yeah, let's get the other two out of here and just look at Morbius. Alright, starting off with our 360 spin, here we have Morbius. The paint job on his blue spandex parts is just, it's just gorgeous. Look at how shiny it is. It's just a really nice coat of paint. It looks really freaking cool. Um, the red is more matte and has some shading and stuff on the inside, a little wing flaps there on the cape, as well as the collar and a little belt bit. The base is pretty cool, pretty uh, basic, but it's still cool. It's like a little uh, graveyardy looking pedestal sort of thing. Um, he's got some bare chest, and then his hands are bare, and he's got little black fingernails. I'll probably zoom in on the hands as well as the head sculpt in a minute. Um, apart from that, there's not really a lot of detail to look at, so I guess that minute will be coming now. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the head and the hands. Morbius' face is white. He has that sort of vampire bat snout there. Big, flared-up eyebrows. Uh, nice sculpting of the teeth. He's got the little sort of, uh, chin thing down there. Um, hair is all sculpted very nicely. Just overall, very nice head sculpt, as you would expect from a Bowen statue. It all looks very nice. Let's look at the hands as well real quick. Here are the hands. They're also painted white. He has little black fingernails there, which you can see. And then on the back of the hands, he has some nice vein work and stuff like that. His hands are all tilted at an angle. It's difficult for me to show them to you properly. But they are sculpted very nicely, and they're the, you know, next most sculpted bit after the face. That's uh, pretty much everything to look at on the bust itself. Let's move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Morbius comes in a pretty standard box for a bone mini bust. Um, of course, they're not good for in-package display because they're just big boxes with no windows. But you get a picture of the bust on both sides, as well as a little bio and some comic covers and stuff on the sides there, pictures of the bust on that side. Um, all in all, just your standard fare for a bust box. But, you know, you really shouldn't be expecting to display busts in packaging most of the time anyway. Either way, if you just want to look at a box, it's not a terrible looking box to look at. So, uh, yeah, Morbius. Alright, that wraps it up for Morbius, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.